pity yourself. Fix the problems. I say this from a few things that have been going on recently, not related to me, but um, for example, there's an expat that's committed suicide after his girlfriend was seeing somebody else. Um, I would say just don't get into that crap. You need to be able to just move on. There is always an upside. Things may get rock bottom sometimes, but if it's at the bottom, th there's one thing that's going to happen. It will. The only way is up. Something positive will come your way and will put you back on track. No doubt, something will go right. I mean, it's a bit like me here in Spain. At the moment, my income is very restricted. We've actually started eating away at the savings from last year because we're um, had some heavy expenses that, like the van repairs, etc. Um, that's whittling away at some of my funds that I planned to keep at a certain level. But the whole point is, do I sit here and cry about it? The answer is no. I sit here and I go, okay, what do I need to do? How am I going to fix this? The first thing is, the kids take up too much time during the day, my working day, um, so I need to do something about that. So it would be start, start the school lunch today because Zoe's already in lunch. Um, okay, that's going to cost me about 60 to 100 euros a month for him to be in school. Um, but at the same time, it means instead of like going from uh, for dropping the kids off at 9, picking him up at half 12, taking him back at 3, it's now a case of I'm available from 9 till I pick the kids up from school, which means I've got a proper working day. So you look at what is wrong and how to fix it. Now, it's great to have the kids home, but it doesn't pay the bills. So you do have to make sacrifices sometimes. And I know, like I was saying, that some people have problems in their relationships. You need to sit there and go, is the relationship worth it or not? Because um, sometimes it's not. And I, I know some expats that their wives are having affairs, and they've been told to their face, but they just won't accept it. And until that wife walks off with the guy uh, that they've been seeing, they will just ignore it. And the whole point of that being is, for me, if the guy's happy, that's fair enough. You know, he will put up with it. But nine times out of ten, they're not. Because the only time the wife's out, what they're thinking about. They're thinking about what's the wife doing. So you have to be aware that you need to assess what is going to make you happy. If things are crap right now, what are you going to do to make it work? How are you going to make it work? How are you going to get things back on track? When I left that company last year, when I left Carillion, it was because of the way they were treating me. It was because of um, the places they were sending me. Um, and they were just abusing things to the max. And I just turned around and said, well, enough's enough. Um, you've got to turn around and say, there's more to life than this crap. I'm not a slave. Um, and that's what you've got to do. You've got to turn around and analyse what you need to do to put things right. If your partner's walked off and whatever, okay, have a recovery period, but one thing you want to do is not sit in a bottle of, of alcohol, unless it's just for one day binge, just to just say, right, that's it, but, but get up the following day and get your life back in order. Going, right, I'm going to the gym, I'm going to, you know, make yourself desirable. <laughs> It's as simple as that, you know, because I know a lot of guys over a period of time, they get um, progressively lazy uh, because if you've already got your partner and stuff, you get into routines. So when you first met her, you were going to the gym. When you first met her, you were doing this, da da da. But over a period of time, you're just like, oh, I can't bother going to the gym anymore, da da da. So you're putting a bit away, you start going to the pub with the, your mates and stuff. Um, but if you get yourself back into shape, it's not, see, the other thing is, it's not about, um, making yourself um, well it, it's sort of more desirable for another for meeting another person but it's more about your own personal well-being because if you're feeling happy and fit and etc um, you feel better about yourself and all these things have a positive outcome and that's why I say you know if you you're feeling down or whatever get yourself back up back up Kick yourself up the backside and just write it off as experience. All right, thanks for watching.
Yeah.